veterans past and present gathered at the World War II Valor in the Pacific National Monument to honor the 72nd anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor. The surprise onslaught was devastating. The vaunted battleship row destroyed and more than 2,400 troops killed with thousands more injured. Now 72 years to the day, Pearl Harbor survivors like retired Marine Lieutenant Colonel John Stevens are back to pay tribute to the sacrifices made both during and after the attack. It's a tragedy. It was a day that awoke the American nation, and it was a day that shouldn't have happened, and it's a day we need to remember. For those who gave the last full measure of devotion for their nation that day, we feel a deep sense of sorrow for the loss of such potential. Yet we are also inspired by their great gift to the world, the gift of freedom itself. They did not go quietly into the night, and along with those who survived, a reluctant nation emerged to fight and ultimately win in World War II. Nearly half of the American casualties at Pearl Harbor came when the USS Arizona sank after Japanese bombers blew up her ammo room. At the solemn Arizona Memorial, Pearl Harbor vets come on this day of remembrance to salute their comrades who didn't make it through the fight. We have to give them all recognition because we never forget, we never can forget Pearl Harbor. The valor and sacrifice made at Pearl Harbor has left a legacy. A legacy picked up by today's generation of 9-11 warriors fighting in places like Afghanistan. A legacy that stands for freedom and defending America. Nick Tovo, Pearl Harbor, Hawaii.